Hello guys, welcome to another video of Rhino 3D. So in this video we are going to see how to make so Mobius stripe in Rhino 3D. So I'm just drawing a polygon. So I'm just typing the command polygon and taking 0, 0 as the center with a size of 6. So now I'm just using extrude curve to extrude this. So the extrusion has been done. So I'm just draw, I'm going to draw a line for reference for the help. So the line I'm just drawing a line so it will be helpful when I use twist command so uh, so the line has been drawn so now I am using contour so contour is a command where you will get a n number of lines between the distance so I'm just giving the distance like this and this uh, so you get a contour like this so you get a number of lines between the distance which you give on the surface so now I'm using pipe command well It takes some time because it's a huge number of uh, lines and surface to be created. When I zoom in, okay, this pipe is not. I'm just changing the radius of the pipe to 0.25. So before it was one meter, which is two eyes. So I, I changed to 0.25. So this is fine. So I need this pipes, which uh, the surface which created to pipe to be a group. So I'm just going to select, and I'm using last select. So last created object. I'm changing the group layer. So it will be useful because like I can't select one by one you can use this option in select which is useful to select the last created object. So so I am just going to draw a line in a vertical axis so uh, this is a kind of a vertical line. So the, the, the line has been drawn now I am going to use linear array so I am just taking the command from the command box so linear array so so linear array it's it's typically uh, to counter but it's like kind of an array which only provides in a single direction i just give this as a direction so this is fine so i'm just uh, changing the view to wireframe now i'm just selecting all then i'm selecting the model so i just selected the line so i change the view to get a easy selection so i just do the pipe command so with the same radius that is 0 0.05 i'm just uh, so i'm just going into select our tool and just select using select curves which will select all the curves in the file so i'm just unselecting these curves which i don't and uh, deleting the rest which i selected now i'm using last last selected option to change the layer so i am just changing this into layer now i am using array polar array polar array is a circular array so i am just using polar array and just side clicking and selecting the objects in the layer so it is easy to select i can't go and select one by one everything so you just need to use these options to get easy navigations and easy navigation throughout your work so i am just using polar array so the polar array has been done so i am just turning on the uh, the pipe which i did before using the contour so this is what i need so this is perfect now i am going to select the entire model and now i am going to press the model which i need so i am just selecting the entire model now i am going to use uh, i am just unselecting this line and these lines so i'm just turning to wireframe so that the solid won't select by touching the surface so it's a little bit of trouble so just change the mode so that you could have the easy selection now i'm using twist it's asking for the start of the axis twist axis i'm just giving the start i'm just giving the start of the axis then it's asked for the end of the axis so the axis has been given now it's asking for the angle so you can give the angle ma like entering the value or you can use the angle manually you can set the angle manually by the options so i just set it manually so i got a shape like this which i need so this is totally fine
so I need to draw a line in between uh, in between the exact center of the model so I am just drawing this line so I am just drawing this line so that the line is being drawn well, yeah but I, I need to change so I am just selecting the line and changing to the gentle layer because uh, when I go with when I started to select the pipe stain this line will also get affected so only I'm just changing it to a layer, default layer so I'm just using flow along uh, curve okay not for flow along surface so flow along curve it's a good tool so you will get to know and use to it when I do this model so it's kind of an example so I'm just selecting the model and all the surface without disturbing the inter line I mean the line which is inside the model which I draw uh, see mm, the line which I didn't disturb is so only I used this option you can select however you want wait a sec sorry so as I said before this line also got selected by selecting the layer option so I'm just changing the that line into default line because I don't want that into a selection because that's our axis so I'm just going to give it as an axis so it should not be selected at the first so in this it so when I go into the so I'm just selecting all the components like the pipe uh, uh, surface of the pipe and the surface skin of the model everything then I'm going into flow along curve which is in the left side flow along curve now it's asking for the axis so I'm giving this as a target targeted axis so I'm giving the center line as a base axis and the circle as a targeted axis now you will see the result and uh, while doing this if you didn't get a full uh, like full circle like this then you would have not on the stretch option so while doing this you need to uh, turn on the stretch option like if you give it to yes then you will get as a full circle or else you will get a semicircle uh, up to the length so if it in the stress though if you use the stretch option then it will get being stretched and it will get connected to the surface which you created the circle distance so I'm just deleting this because when you have both it, it loads a lot so the file gets heavy so I'm just showing this so the model has been done this is mobile here's curve so just say your comments below about this video and don't forget to subscribe and share among your friends Tata bye bye have a nice day